Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Mary Ann Williams. I am course coordinator with Continuing Education Programs here at Muskegon Community College. Today, we will interview two very special guests. And our purpose of this is to share with our community programs, events, and partnerships that we have with resources in our community. Today, we want to thank Mrs. Shar Pearson and Mr. Donna Matthews for being our guests. Shar is originally from Mississippi and has lived in Muskegon with her husband for over 40 years. She is retired from an independent insurance company and has been a 20-year member of the Muskegon Power Quadrum, where she currently serves as commander and is an instructor as well. She has also served as secretary on the board of directors at the First General Credit Union in 2012. Her volunteer efforts in the community is the database for Community Encompass, and she helps with the food truck at Fifth Reform Church. Thank you, Shar, for being with us today. Donald is a native of Muskegon. He's currently residing in Fruitport Township. He is a 43-year employee of General Telephone Verizon, where he worked as a traffic engineer, of which he is presently retired. Mr. Matthews is a 50-year member of the Muskegon Power Squadron, where he served as past commander and is now the squadron's educational officer. His other volunteer activities include Scoutmaster Troop 57 in Arlington, Texas for 12 years. He is Dawson at Fort Worth, Texas Zoo 10 years. Muskegon Civic Opera Association for 21 years as stage and crew manager. Donald loves to travel, and what's interesting is he has visited 49 of our 50 states and 34 other countries. He is also a U.S. Navy reservist, where he has been for one and a half years. Wow. <laughs> it's what wonderful. Of years. <laughs> he's oh. older than I am, so he's, yeah. <laughs> okay. What a number of years of experience we have sitting at the table with us today and such impressive times on the job. I hope to get there someday. Good what you, wonderful yeah. resumes. And these are two of the nicest people, I must say, that I've met. Thank you for taking time to come and to tell us exactly what is the Muskegon Power Squadron. I think I'll start with, with Shar, since she is the commander. Okay. Well, first of all, thank you, Mary, for inviting Don and I to this and giving us an opportunity to talk about Muskegon Power Squadron. Uh, Muskegon, the Muskegon group is, or squadron as we call it, is part of the, um, is affiliated with the uh, national organization, United States Power Squadron. Um, this is a, a nonprofit organization that was founded in 1914. Um, we are one of approximately 450 squadrons across the United States with 45,000 members. Um, Muskegon became chartered uh, in 1959, so we've been around for a while. Our objectives are, uh, first of all, uh, we uh, have community service, which we uh, do with uh, offering our safe boating classes uh, twice a year. Uh, we provide free vessel safety checks for any boat owner who requests it and free of charge. Um, we also, uh, they also, the, the safety boat or the vessel safety checks uh, meet uh, local and state uh, law enforcement uh, rules and, and um, also the rules of the United States Coast Guard. And of course, along the way, we enjoy the camaraderie of our fellow boaters and uh, we're always looking for members or for people to join our group. Uh, we do enjoy uh, being part of a, a larger organization. Wonderful. Okay, Shar, I understand. Uh, can you tell me how long, again, this has been in existence? Okay. Um, the national organization, uh, uh, the United States Power Squadron, is celebrating its 100th anniversary. So they've been, they were founded in 1914. Uh, the Muskegon Squadron 
was found, was chartered in 1959, so we are celebrating our 54th anniversary this year. Um, I wanted to show you, this is our flag, the Muskegon's flag, uh, this, our burgee as we call it, and this is what our members fly off the back or the stern of their boat. Um, mm -hmm. So we're very proud of this. Uh, every, every squadron in the United States has their own flag. So this is ours and we're very proud of it. Okay, are there any significance to the symbols or? There is, a, yes, there is a significance um, to the, the uh, gold trim around it. That means that our organization has been in, uh, um, in existence for 50 years or more. Um, as far as the, uh, the rest of it. This is the flag for the letter M. Okay. For Muskegon. Okay. Oh, yes. wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's so, wonderful. Thank yeah. you for sharing oh, that with us. Yeah. And how does one become a part of the squadron? Uh, is your membership open to all, or are there special requirements? There are no special requirements. Muskegon, uh, the membership is open uh, to any boating enthusiasts and people who are interested in uh, increasing their knowledge and boating skills. Um, we're all volunteers. There's no paid position and uh, just people who are committed to offering their time, uh, resources, and talent to helping the squadron. Well, it's wonderful. We know that Muskegon is surrounded by water, so a lot of people have their crafts and their, their boats, so that really would be open to any of them. And so exactly. that is very good information to know. Um, we, I believe there's a training course coming up soon that will be held here at MCC. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that, Don? Oh, I'd love to do that. First of all, thank you for providing the classroom and then the facilities to help us uh, teach the class. The class is going to, the next one is going to start on October 3rd. That's a Thursday. And that'll be here in room 1310. And our first class will start at 6.30 where we have some registration activities that we will be uh, conducting. Then the regular classes will be at seven o'clock. There are going to be six two-hour classes on Thursdays for the six consecutive Thursdays here for the uh, course. And some of the items that we'll be covering, not all, but these are some of the items. I've got a, a few I'd like to share with you. And the first one is that the required boating equipment, this covers the federal, state, and the local laws to make sure that you're in compliance with, with all of the, the laws for the Coast Guard and everybody else. Another thing that we will be teaching are the uh, navigational rules of the road. You know, there are no lines on the road of, uh, of an, on a lake as there are on a highway. So what is the proper way to do things? And here again, this is in regard to boating safety for everybody. We'll also talk about the aids to navigation while you're on the water. And uh, these can be uh, buoys, and then an age to navigation, like the, like the light at the end of the channel and the beginning of the channel, and uh, the colors of the lights on the boats and buoys. And this is to keep you from running into each other mm -hmm. and also to be in safe waters. You don't want to be in an area where it's going to be shallow or whatever. So we will teach this particular uh, set of uh, knowledge and skills. Another item that we'll be covering is handling your boat uh, in adverse conditions and in emergency situations, what to do, how to get assistance, and how to prevent yourself from getting into that kind of a problem. And then communications. Now, there are several ways of doing that. Most boaters will have a VHF radio. Some have CBs, and the idea is to talk to your buddies in regard to where are the fish biting. And then, of course, with your other the VHF, that you can get the weather conditions, which are very important. You don't want to be caught in thunderstorms. And then if needed, how to contact the Coast Guard, mm -hmm. what to tell them, and things of this nature. So if you do need assistance, that they'll be able to find you. And uh, the uh, visual and sound signals, too, in regard to the, uh, if you're in a problem, such as handheld flares, and then there are rocket flares that can be used, how to use them and when. And then also the use of your horn. This is interesting. A lot of people just, you know, honk the thing, hi friends and that sort of thing. Uh, 
it's okay, but it's really not what it's designed to do is we will, in the, the class, instruct the people because uh, maybe you've heard the Lake Express Ferry out there, they'll give five long blasts or you know, maybe about four seconds or something, which means that they're backing up. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you've been out at the channel when they're coming in, you'll hear them signals, which means we're coming through, we're a big vessel and we can't stop real easy, so it's a matter of advising people. So these are some of the things that in regard to signals. The other thing is in regard to a chart, on a road, you have a road map. Yes. On a water, you have a chart such as this one for, uh, this is Muskegon Lake. So there are many things that are pieces of information on there that we want to teach the students that come to the class, such as the colors signify water depths. There is uh, a series of marks uh, on the, in the chart and in the water to tell you how deep it is there. It'll tell you what kind of bottom you have which you need to know for the proper type of anchor to use. If you're gonna go out and just drop the hook and have a picnic or swim, that sort of thing. So the other thing is that the chart shows if there's any submerged hazards. You don't wanna run into these things. And the water level is down around here now too. And they, during the lumber days, they put in lots of pilings, which some of them are now only a, either at the surface or maybe just a few inches below the surface. The charts have that. And then there are other navigational aids on there, and we'll talk about those in the class. This will give you an idea of what's on a chart mm -hmm. and how to use that. One of the real fun uh, boaters' uh, activities are these PWCs, the personal watercraft. Maybe you have one or somebody you know that they get out on these jet skis. Well, we're going to review the rules and regulations and the laws pertaining to them such as who can legally operate them. There are probably a few people that know that if you were born after December 31st, 1978, that you do need a safe boating certificate in order to legally operate it. Wow. An old critter like me that was born before that, there are no regulations on here. But such as if you're 14 years or younger, you may not operate that. Interesting. Yes, and so we'll talk about who can legally operate it, and I'll, in a minute I'll talk about the certificate also. But uh, in regard to that, you know, the laws that we're talking about here are just safety rules yes. that have teeth in it that the government, the law enforcement agencies can enforce for your own protection. Yes. So we'll talk about those particular items. Another item which is a real fun one, which is in the middle of the course, I brought a piece of line along, but what we will be doing is going over some of how to tie some of these knots or bend lines is the nautical way of mentioning this. So that when you tie up your boat, that the, whatever you use will hold it. In the same way for dropping an anchor, you know, securing that property to the boat or rafting and that sort of thing. So there are about 12 different knots that we'll go through and give everybody an opportunity to practice tying them. So it's a fun night and Good. get some real practical things out of that. So then the other thing in regard to the chart is many boaters have a GPS unit on board and they're fun to see where you are. Now with the GPS, one of the things that you can get with them is your latitude and your longitude. Right, yes. So if you happen to venture out into the big lake and you can't see land, you want to know where you are, you'll have your chart your GPS, and with that, we'll show you how to pinpoint your location, which would be real interesting if you run out of gas or have engine problem or whatever, and you're looking for assistance, Yes. that uh, you can tell the individuals, the Coast Guard or whomever, I'm at this latitude and longitude, and rather than, I think I'm three and a half miles southwest of whatever. Mm -hmm. That's kind of ambiguous. So we want to get into that also and help. And here again, that's a fun part of this particular course too. And then what do you get out of this course when you're done? Lots of knowledge, but also we have a couple of things. I mentioned the um, boating safety certificate. Yes, yes. Well, this is, it's just a little blue card. In fact, there's two of them here that upon completion of the course, and we'll give you an opportunity to have a little exam at the end of this that successful completion of that, you will earn this particular, and there's two of them on here, you know, like so, that uh, you will have to you carry with you. And if you're on a PWC, by law, you're required to have one of these and have it with you. 
Now the other thing, if you're economics getting into this at all, that this is one that our national organization uh, has. And most all of your insurance companies, if you have one of these things, will give you a discount of some sort. Now that's interesting. So we all want to save money. We are interested in money. That <laughs> is right. And this will give a person an opportunity, you know, check with it. Not all do, but most do, and they, they change. You know, what is it? You get 5%, 8%, 2 whatever it happens to be, you'll have to check with whoever your insurance agent happens to be. So there are a couple very important things. Then as far as the class book goes, uh, we have this book right here. And uh, in the book is 244 pages, and it's all glossy color, and it's very well explained in there of all of the things, plus a lot of things we won't be able to cover. And then inside the book, too, there are two uh, uh, CDs in there. Good. And one you can use, if you miss a class, you can use that uh, CD to pick up whatever you might have missed. And then the other one has got a listing, and there are pictures of every chart that is for the, that's an navigable water area okay. in the United States. Wonderful. And it'll show you how to order that. It'll give the number. On each chart, there's a number in the lower left-hand and right-hand corner mm -hmm. of that particular chart. And you can go to a marina or wherever, order it from what they call NOAA. And uh, that's the National Oceanographic and Aeronautical Administration. That's tough to say sometimes. Sometimes say that for <laughs> yeah. the past three times. <laughs> so, yes. So anyway, uh, that information will all be part of, of this course that we'll be handling. And it's, it's a lot of fun. The other thing, too, in, in returning of finishing the talk about the course itself, is that it's a real informal thing. You come in, and if the instructor is saying something, I don't understand it, say, excuse me. You know, and we want to have, and we do encourage a lot of interaction with whomever the instructor is, such as Char, <laughs> on here, to get involved in the class. Because the more active you are that way, the more you're going to learn, and the more the instructor will know what you really want to pick up out of the class that may uh, be something in addition to what is being covered. Okay, so let me just recap a couple of things. It's called the America's Boating Course. There is a book with CDs that are available to the students. Yes. It's happening here at Muskegon Community College and it's starting on October 3rd, correct? And the time is 6.30 to 9. And there's a lot of great information that will be covered. Don, you've covered that very well, but we want to reiterate mm -hmm. that this course is open to anyone who is interested in learning more about boating safety. Is that correct? Yes, and boating knowledge, skills, this sort of thing. But safety is the key mem member of all of this. That's correct. And at the end of the course, the most important thing that you will receive is can you hold your registration or your uh, certificate again? They receive a certificate from the course and a state. This is the DNR certificate. DNR certificate that they receive. And if you're under the age of what? Well, if you're 14 or younger, you cannot legally, and that's the word, legally operate a PWC. Okay. We know there are thousands that do. But it's not illegally. legal. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> okay. And so we want to encourage all of you. Now tell me, how does one register for the class and what is the cost of the class? Okay. Now, registration is pretty simple. That it's just a matter of calling your office and the number is 231 seven 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 zero three four eight or the electronic age you can go on the uh, internet and it's uh, muskegon cc dot edu forward slash ce and you can register that way and the cost for this six week course is forty five dollars very good now that covers it now who's the instructor for this particular class okay i think i can answer that each of our volunteers and instruct, uh, instructors are trained and we receive a certificate and we're all experienced boaters. Um, so if you have any questions, um, nine times out of 10, we'll be able to answer them or we'll be able to get the answer for you or we've run up into the same situation. Uh, you can show up, and Mary, you can show up at n that night to register for the class as well on October 3rd but the class size is limited to 27 students, so you might want to register in advance. 
Very good. So we, once again, we want to thank Don and Shire for being with us today and for all the wonderful information that they've shared with us. And we want to invite all of you that are listening or watching to come out to Muskegon Community College on October 3rd. Learn more about boating safety. It is very important to know some of these things when you're on the water, how to get attention on how to get help, what you should do in certain situations, and how to provide safety to everyone that is around you. We again ask you to go online to www.muskegoncc.edu forward slash c E. And you can find information from the homepage. It's called America's Boating Course. And in closing, are there any closing remarks from any one of you that we would like to share? Well, I, I have just one item I, that in regard to this. Any boat owner, current boat owner, that's either a sailor or a power boater, or those who are planning to get a boat, please come to this class. We can really help you in regard to what to look for in boats and how to improve your skills in boating. And we noticed that Don and Shar mentioned that this is covered twice a year. So Muskegon Community College will host this class on October 3rd and we will host another class in er, Fe February 27th. So we do want you to keep those dates in mind but we certainly want to look forward to seeing you on October 3rd at Muskegon Community College. Again this has been Mary Ann Williams. I am CE course coordinator here at Muskegon Community College and we really do appreciate the service that you're giving yeah. to the community, taking time out. We, we noticed that you said it's all volunteer it work, is. so you must have a love for safety and a love for boating. Yeah. So we welcome you to join us again. We will have you later on and come oh, back and talk with us more. Right. We love would love to it. Do that. Thank you. And with that, we say thank you for watching and keep listening, keep watching for Muskegon Community College Community Outreach Updates. We'll see you again. Bye.